What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Test, a show where I taste test the latest tests that need to be tasted. Uh, new or limited edition items, whichever way you slice it. If it's dumb, I'll probably buy it. And if I buy it, I'll make content out of it because I have little to no self-control. On today's show, we are going to be trying I Left It Out of Frame. Perfect. Good job, Sean. Did I check that before I started recording? Absolutely not. Uh, but today, we are trying Pepsi Blue, which I don't really know what it is. I just saw it and immediately picked it up. In the most like Sean way possible, I scanned the Pepsis. I scanned them and I went, that one looks different. And I walked over and I saw Pepsi Blue. I don't know what that is. I immediately picked it up and uh was questioned as to whether or not i was going to buy it and then i said content content and so i did so i bought it uh pepsi blue is berry flavored cola i'll be honest when i read this originally i thought it said blue flavored cola and i thought that's really weird that they would just call something blue flavored like what the what what is blue flavor that doesn't make any sense blue flavor what's blue what's the flavor yeah it's just berry it says it says berry flavored soda cola look at how easy it is when you put your mind to to work and you actually read instead of just not reading correctly so uh, we'll try it in here it is uh surprisingly see-through um so hopefully it's hopefully it's good berry good flavor blueberry blue raspberry something like that those are the only two blueberries i could ever possibly name um who um i got i got nothing i got nothing uh, make sure that i'm paying attention to this and opening this make sure it's making sure it's not spilling i may or may not have when i walked outside to pick this up gotten startled on, on the way back inside and shook it a little bit so i was a little worried that it was going to explode all over the place so we'll go ahead and take a smell well that's a very berry that's a very that's a very berry soda. It smells pretty good. Like it, it's all right, I guess. Uh, we'll take a little take a little drink here. That is not good. <clears throat> that is that is not good. No, 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 no. I think this might have the Mountain Dew problem but kind of on the opposite side. I've talked about it before, and I'm sure I'll talk about it again. Mountain Dew pairs best with berry. Anytime you add another citrus flavor into a lemon lime, it just doesn't work very well. This feels like because cola already has a like a lower flavor profile, adding a berry just kind of like muddles it a little bit. Like this would be better, oddly enough, like I really like the Pepsi Mango. Like this would be better with more of a citrus flavor just because it's not already a citrus or like kind of the lighter flavor i don't know it's more sour i guess i don't know how to explain it but this is uh this is not good let's let's try another drink just to be sure we always double check your work okay make sure make sure that your hypothesis and your conclusions are consistent and always take two drinks of soda yeah that's bad <laughs> that's bad it doesn't have a terrible, it, it has a pretty nice berry flavor, but the cola flavor like comes in and just ruins everything. Um, thank God. Thank God I only bought one bottle. Almost, almost always I buy way too many of a thing, regardless of whether I like it or not, or have even tried it in the past. Um, I'm very thankful that I only bought one bottle of this because I do not like it. Theoretically, it works pretty well. I like berry flavored things. I enjoy Pepsi. I don't drink it a lot, but I do like Pepsi. But it's just, the, the flavors are muddled and weird, and I, I don't enjoy it. The berry flavor is good, but the cola flavor just comes in in, like, that second wave and just punches all the enjoyment out of your out of your mouth. So, oh, God, I'm going to be all burpy for stream. That's good news. Um, yeah, I would say I would say this one's a pass. Uh, it's It's pretty rare that I actually, like, pass on things. Usually I feel like I either love things... Or I'm pretty in the middle. There are the rare exceptions where I'm just like, these are terrible. I remember the, uh, oh, what were they? The turkey gravy chips. But even the turkey gravy chips were like, hey, hey, if you want something utterly disgusting, try this out. <laughs> like, that's some kind of a positive thing. Um, this this one's this one's bad. Ugh. Anyway, 
Thank you for watching this installment of Taste Test. If you like content like this, scroll on down, click subscribe, ring that bell so you're notified when I post new videos. If you want, you can head over to twitch.tv slash Rex where I stream uh, video games, live stream all kinds of different weird video games, uh, and sometimes taste tests to either kick off or end a stream or somewhere in the middle. Um, I guess that kind of covers everything. It could be in the first 25%, the middle 50%, or the end 25%. Any point, who knows? Um, but you can catch them whenever they air. They don't have like a set time slot or anything. It's just kind of when I have a bunch of stuff and I have recently run into a plethora of items to try for you. So hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, don't forget, scroll down, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Just don't buy that. Try something else. We got more good stuff coming up, hopefully. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it's better than this. Can't be worse. Or could it? You'll have to tune in to find out. There you go. There's the tease.